Well, thank you all for tuning in to my channel. Today, we've got a, uh, another special topic. We've got a pipe inspection camera to review. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this model here is made by a company called Sani Pace. If you just kind of take a quick overview and look at it, it's, it's really high quality. I love the anodized aluminum hard case here and this sunshade. When you lift it up, we've got a 9-inch high-definition IPS screen with a 1080p capability. And we've got a microphone and playback, spe uh, playback speaker feature on it. Now, uh, later on in the video, we're actually going to take this unit out in the field. And we're going to do two different tests with it so I can show you real-life experiences. But for now, let's go ahead and go over some of the features here in the office. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn the unit on. And we're going to notice the clear image on the screen here. Now later on I'm actually going to take the image that is on here that is saved using the recording feature and the playback feature. It saves it on a micro SD card and then I'm going to edit it into the video. That way you get a full understanding of the quality and the clarity of the image that comes from this pipe inspection camera. So this model here comes with 165 feet of hard rigid cable. Gives you the ability to push the camera through any conduit or plumbing pipe that you may need to inspect. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at the actual camera itself. If you notice on the end, it has all of the, the LEDs, and right here, we have an LED light button. So if we press this, and we look on the display, it tells us what level the light setting is on the camera. So there's five LED light functions, five brightness levels. So let's show you the brightness levels here. So here's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. That's really bright. Now another cool feature, um, when, you, when we're talking about the LED light function, you can also use the F6 button on the keyboard, and it will also do the same thing as the LED adjust button. So if we press it again, LED is on two, brightness level three, four, and five. Press it again, we turn it off. There are multiple functions, F2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. They all control a different function in this camera. And I'm going to go over those with you throughout this tutorial. Now another neat feature of this, of this unit here, we're going to go ahead and pull out some of the cable. And we're going to take a look at the screen. If we notice, if we look at the screen we have 1.49 meters. Now, there's the ability to adjust between metric and imperial units. If we come down here to the keyboard function and we hit F4, that changes, that changes our display to feet. So now we are at 4.8 feet. We're gonna hit F4 again, and we go back to the, the, uh, the metric units, which is in meters. So whichever you need, whether you need meters or whether you need feet, all you do is simply push a button. Now, if you wish to have your, your voltage, now this is the voltage that's showing you basically how charged the unit is, and then this is the display of your footage. If you would like to make that disappear off the screen, you simply test, press the F5 key, and it disappears. And if you press it again, it reappears. So now you have no obstruction on your screen. Now because this unit offers um, recording capabilities, if we simply press record here, and now we look at the upper left hand corner of the screen, we get our counter and it's letting us know that the unit is in record mode. Now we can, we know that this here is a speaker and it is also a microphone. Now we can uh, go back through the settings, we can stop, and then we can go to our play, and this is going to be 
our uh, basically our test record that we just did. So here is some of the tests that I've done and you can actually hit play and you can play back that feature on this unit. You can you know, do it for yourself or you can simply take the SD card out, put it in your computer, upload it, and then you'll have that for your records. Now we have 4.8 feet of cable out and if you wish to clear the footage counter you simply press the clear key and your footage counter has been zeroed out. Now, if you were to wind back up your cable, you get a negative reading. So this will tell you how much cable you have pushed back from the destination that you were at. So now we've pushed it all back and we're back at 4.88 feet. We're gonna put the camera in the holder. If we look down here, the camera's now in its holder. And we're going to take this unit out in the field and put it to the test. Now another neat feature about this model, it comes with the 512 hertz locator. This is something that I've been eager to test out. And we're going to go ahead now, we're going to take it outside and we're going to, we're going to test this unit out. So right now, I'm actually at the back of my shop. And we've got the camera and the locator here. And what we have down here is a drainage pipe. So what we're going to do now, we're going to test the locator. I'm going to go ahead now, we're going to turn the unit on. So we're going to turn on the LED light to LED number 5. And I'm going to press record. And then we're going to send the camera up about 80 feet. <clears throat> I kept pushing the camera and it was not hard at all. Simply pushed up the pipe nice and easy. So now that the system is on and it is recording, I got a good visual of inside the, the drainage pipe. I'm gonna go ahead now and we're gonna open the locator. We're gonna put on the antenna and then we're gonna use this to try to locate where the camera is under the ground. So now that I've got the locator uh, assembled, I'm gonna give you a quick little overview of it. So we have a sensitivity knob and a near and far button. So for right now, we don't know where the camera is out here in the yard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the button and we're going to use the far feature. We're going to turn the sensitivity on. When we will turn it up to about halfway. When this meter goes over here and pegs this side, we're going to then go over here to the knob and we're going to adjust it and turn it down. We're going to walk a little bit closer and when we get it to peg it again, we're going to then turn it down. You're eventually going to get to the point where it's over here and it's too sensitive. So that's when we go over here and we press the near button. That lowers the sensitivity level. Then we can go back to this and adjust it again. And, and that will help us pinpoint exactly where the unit is at. So let's go ahead now and test this out. So we're going to turn the unit on. Okay, we got something. That direction. Alright, so we have something that direction. I'm going to turn the sensitivity down a little bit. And we're going to start walking. Alright. I think we're close. All right, so now, let's turn it off so I can talk. Now what we're gonna do, since we've used the far feature, we're gonna use the near feature. So we're gonna press the button, and we're gonna turn the knob back on. Okay, 
Now we come over here and we kind of look at this patch, this patch that's not growing grass. Now we want to find exactly where the trench is. So we're going to take the unit here and we're going to walk left to right and we're going to find it. Watch. I'm going to step forward a little. There it is. So I move it over this way, the sensitivity goes away. I bring it back. There it is. It's exactly where it's at, right here. So now we can take the take the sensitivity. Yeah, that was pretty low. That was probably on two of fifteen. So we're going to say that the camera itself is right here under the ground. So as we walk away from it, the sensitivity needle goes towards the negative. But if we come back, there it is. There it is, right there. Pegging it. Get further and further away this way, it goes away. Come back. It's really hard right here. Come over here, it goes back. That's it. Alright, so the camera is right here under the ground. And I know this because. You can kind of always tell where a trench is based by how the ground looks, but if a system is 20 years old, you won't be able to tell. But this is basically a gutter drain just for the, uh, the review of the video. I didn't want to send the camera up a sewage pipe because I use, it for, I use it for water wells. But this is simply just a drainage system. But yeah, that's cool. The locator works excellent. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna wrap this system up and we're gonna take it out in the field and we're gonna put it in a water well. So later that day, I got called out to a job and I felt like it was the perfect opportunity to use the Sani Pace pipe inspection camera. So here we are, we're gonna journey down into this borehole. And as we look, I want you to pay attention to the high quality imagery that this camera can produce for its viewer. If we take a look in the upper left hand corner, it shows us our voltage and it also shows us our meter and we can press the button and change that to feet if we want to. In the bottom right hand corner, that gives us our time of day and the date. Now if you notice inside this well, because you know, this is uh, probably 50 year old galvanized casing you can tell that uh, the pipe itself is basically corroded uh, way past its uh, life expectancy right there we can see the reflection of the LED lights on top of the water this is a section near about 20 feet in the ground and that is a aquifer that is dumping water into the borehole the quality of this camera is superb to say the least. There's another water bearing zone inside the well. You can see it crystal clear. Just gorgeous. I'm very happy with how this camera performed. You can see little bits of rust on the side of the rock wall there. That has fallen down from the uh, galvanized casing from up above. If you're in the market for a pipe inspection camera, you can check out Sani Pace. The information for this camera will be listed in the description of the video below. Uh, I will leave a link to this product that I'm using currently and also a link to their website.
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to them or leave a comment on this video, and I will try my best to answer anybody's questions. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I really am impressed with the quality of this camera. And if you're in the market for one, I would definitely recommend this product to you.